Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at setting our joystick or HOTAS controls in the C-130J. Quick disclaimer, first of all, this is very early access for this aircraft. It's possible that some of these controls will change. In fact, it's fairly likely, but we'll just have to redo it when that happens. Secondly, we're certainly not a master of this aircraft at this point, so we may need to add some controls at some point, but we'll cover those in the specific videos as required. So let's get started. We're going to main menu and options. We're going to go from here to controls, obviously. Up here, we're going to go from whatever aircraft we're in to C-130. You get three options, C-130J, Loadmaster, and UI. Let's start on C-130J. Let's start first with our axis command. So go to axis commands. This will vary depending on what type of equipment you have. So I'm just going to show you how I have it set at the moment. Starting at the bottom, zoom view, assuming you're not using VR, is really useful. It allows us to focus in on something or zoom out. So I've got it on a little kind of spare axis on my throttle. Wheel brakes are really important on whichever aircraft you're in. So I've got wheel brake left and I've got wheel brake right. And I've kind of got them on the toe brakes of my rudder pedals. If you don't have rudder pedals with toe brakes, then bind them in the non-axis section. So bind them as, you know, Z and X on your keyboard or something like that. They'll be really useful. If you don't want left and right, you can have just basic wheel brake. But left and right is so useful. Throttles, there's different ways of doing it. But I've got a kind of split throttle. So I've got a left throttle and a right throttle. So I can have throttles left. So that's the two engines on the left and the two engines on the right. Again, you may have to do just one, all of them, or you may have to do it on the keyboard. Next, we're going to have rudder, roll, and pitch. Obviously, you know, your joystick is your roll, your joystick is your pitch, and I wouldn't suggest doing anything special with that. My rudder pedals are my rudder, and I would do something special with that. Um, she's quite sensitive in the rudder, I find, so I add a positive curve, meaning that the smaller movements are a little bit dampened, okay? Importantly, you also need the tiller, known as the nose wheel steering. It's another axis that you will need. The way I've done it is I've used my uh, rudder again, but with a modifier on. So when I set the rudder, I just moved the rudder pedals left and right, and it detected that. With these, I added a modifier of a button. So if I press that button and hold it and move the rudder, Look at that, it now does that one there. If you don't have the ability to do that, then again, you can set all this stuff as uh, keyboard commands where necessary. Next, let's go on non-axis. I'm just gonna work my way from the bottom, I think. I'm gonna go to yoke first of all, so obviously this is your kind of your control stick. Let's start at auto throttle disconnect. Uh this aircraft does have auto throttle. You can remove the auto throttle by pressing that to take control of the throttle yourself. Uh, next, radio. Oh, we haven't gone over radios yet, but you're going to need it at some point. So you've got co-pilot transmit here, and you're going to have somewhere down here pilot transmit. I'll get those set up when we do the radios. Next, we're going to need hush. A bit of a weird one this is. Basically, if you do certain things with the autopilot, then you can have a lovely lady who shouts at you, autopilot, autopilot, and it can get really annoying. There's actually a button you can press to stop her saying that, uh, and you'll probably use it a lot. It's called hush. Next is pitch sync. So autopilot takes control of your pitch, obviously, your roll, and in some cases, your throttle. If you want to temporarily take back control of your pitch to allow you to adjust the pitch of your aircraft, push and hold this, adjust your pitch to 10 degrees up or whatever you want to do, let go of this button, and then the autopilot will readjust itself to that pitch. Next, yoke autopilot disconnect. So we can turn the autopilot system on and we can turn it off, but we can also disconnect it from the yoke. If, for instance, you're in an emergency situation, you quickly need to get your autopilot off and take manual control, press this. If you press it once, it will activate, but you will have the audio and optical warning that it's been disconnected. If you press it a second time, it will also get rid of those warnings. Finally, countermeasure dispense. You've got flare and chaff on this guy, obviously, and you can dispense it in a manual option with yoke CMS dispense. Next is going to be, uh, let's go to flight controls. We're not going to go over everything here because most you simply don't need. We're going over what we would consider you do need. So obviously we've done our axis, which is our flight controls, but trimming you 100% will need. So you'll need to trim yourself up, down, left and right. Rudder trim is going to be really useful in high winds and stuff like that. So you can set that. Well, your hotel, your keyboard, it doesn't really matter. Wherever is good for you. Flap increment up and down. There are several flap options. I think even 10. You cycle up, 
and you'll cycle down. Again, put them wherever's good for you. Otherwise, I don't think you need anything else there. Next, there are some hotkeys for cargo that really help. You can you do these by pressing buttons in the cockpit, but we found it will really help. Just easy play if you bind some of them. So there are various ways of opening the ramp, you know, the rear ramp in terms of the cockpit and the cargo area, or you can use a bind, um, which I'm learning to do now. I've just got page up and page down as ramp, switch, open, close. As well as that, when it comes to deploying your cargo, one way is to do it manually, uh, a way that we've shown before, which is caution, essentially get ready for a thing to be ejected, and jump will actually eject the thing. It's just one way of manually removing cargo from the rear of the plane. Next, we're going to go to autopilot. Um, there's a couple on here that are going to be really useful. Obviously, in front of you, just below the HUD, you have your autopilot panel and you can press the various buttons. But to actually turn the autopilot on or off to activate it, you have AFCS on or off or toggle for the pilot and one for the co-pilot there. We've also got some controls, but we've seen them before because they are autopilot, but they are also on the yoke. So that's on the yoke. We've done that before. That's on the yoke. Uh, we've done that before. That's on the yoke. We've done that before. Also, we found it's really useful to have pilot heading knob clockwise and counterclockwise. It's quite hard to get to when you're flying, and it's really easy if you just put it on your keyboard or your HOTAS uh, to be able to adjust that. Next, we're going to go to assist. This doesn't work at the moment, but it's, it's going to help you later on. Uh, if you go into a server and you can't be bothered to do the start procedure, you will have an automated start and stop procedure. As I said, it's not fully working at the moment, but it will be uh, sorted out. Next, useful one, load master. Uh, sorry, that's all the way up here, isn't it? So we go through to this guy, load master. And um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to search in Loadmaster for side arm. It allows you to use that kind of M4 rifle, if you remember. Assuming that it's equipped to the aircraft, then we can toggle the side arm. If you're playing the Loadmaster slash crew chief slash whatever you call it, you can bring it up here, raise it here, and you can fire it there. And it does work. You can shoot out the back and shoot people and shoot planes. And yeah, it's all modeled, which is pretty cool. Finally, um, we're going to need our cursor. Our cursor allows us if i can find it cursor 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 it is here somewhere ah i'm on the wrong guy back to z130j uh, it's kind of like uh like a mouse like i'm using here but for the pilot and co-pilot to adjust stuff on the digi map we're not certainly not masters of this at the moment and we may want to add extra commands but so far we've got move it up down left and right you will need to bind to something whoops uh, it's a good idea to have this one cursor insert update and cursor zoom in out just to get you up and going the rest of these guys can be accessed from buttons around the cursor on in the 3d cockpit but again you may want to start binding some of those to speed up operations uh that's all i've got this guy here c130 jui we haven't yet found the use of that so we're just ignoring it i hope that's useful and bye bye